okay to produce sound what are different requirements you should have they are number one to produce sound you have sound source sound source like i am the sound source i am speaking now in front of you so i am the sound source now second you should have a medium remember without medium sound you can't listen if you go to a vacuum place you can't listen a sound why earlier i told you that sound want to move from one part of the body one part of the region to other part of the region the particle has to vibrate and when i when i say that the particles mean they should be medium so medium is important next this medium should be elastic why it should it should be elastic because the, when the particles are vibrating that vibration should be carried for carry forward to the another particle again carry forward to the another particle so when the particles want to carry forward the energy it should be elastic because when the sound production stopped then what happened to the particles the particle have to come to rest they should not vibrate for infinite amount of time if that thing is happened there is no nature so when the sound production is stopped all the particles vibration should be stopped then only you know that okay i am not hearing any sound next the medium should follow inertia inertia remember we discussed in motion chapter inertia means i told you that when the particles when they are in motion they want to be in the motion until unless uh, uh, if external force acting on it so when the particle starts vibrating they should continue in that vibratory motion for some time then only are able to hear the sound for some time if suppose think that one part uh, we have 10 particles are here one particle started its vibration when the vibration goes to the second particle and the first particle starts vibrate stops the vibration then you can't hear the sound continuously so to make this to make hear the sound continuously the particle has to vibrate for some time so to make that like that we should have inertia and third one of course you should have sound receiver because with the without receiver you don't know whether you produce the sound or not so we have learned that how sound can be traveled in the medium it travels in the medium because of particle vibration now the next question is that okay particles are vibrating then how they will vibrate with all the particles vibrate in the same fashion or different particles vibrate in different fashions to understand that let us understand that concept take an example here there is a pipe as a pipe in the pipe think that you have gas gas any gas say example air you have taken now there is a elastic membrane elastic membrane what is in my elastic membrane is nothing but the surface of the drum see if you take a tabla a drum when you start playing the tabla the surface where you are hitting with your fingers that is called elastic membrane so that membrane this one okay now you hit on the membrane and what happen the membrane if the membrane is like this initial state of the membrane is like this like a straight line when you hit on the membrane the membrane starts expanding so it produce the sound and next stage it may go, go to expand in the other direction so initially when it is in the initial state in the straight line when you hit on the membrane like when you hit on the surface of the tabla or the drum the membrane expands and when it expands it applies pressure it applies pressure to the gas then what happened when you taking the gas take the gas as some layers like a gas layers like this imagine the gas consists of gas layers one dimensional layers when you hit on membrane it applies the pressure on the gas layers 
and when they apply the pressure on the gas layer, some glass layers coming closer to each other. Coming closer to each other. When they're coming closer to each other, we can say that this region, this region has high pressure. High pressure. Or I can say this region is having high density. Why is it high density? Because the density is nothing but mass per unit volume. So within this small volume, you have so many number of gas layers, huge amount of mass. So that's why this region is having high pressure or high density. Next, next case, when the elastic membrane goes to the other side of the line, say like this, goes to the other side of the line, then pressure goes to the other side. When pressure goes to the other side, this side the pressure decreases. When the pressure decreases, then what happens? See, here if this is the gas and other side the membrane is there and the pressure goes to the other side, then this side the pressure decreases. When the pressure decreases, the gas layer which are compressed, no, they will be released. When they release, the gas layers, they spread in that volume. They spread in the tree chain. Now within the same volume, how much volume taking here, you take the same amount of volume. And if you see the gas layers here and here, here the number of gas layers are less. Because you have less pressure. And I can say you have less density. So this region having less pressure or less density. So next case again, the membrane goes to the other side, pressure increases. Again, you'll get high pressure region, high density region. Again, it goes to the other side, the pressure decreases, you will get less pressure region, less density region. So in this way, what happens? You see this diagram once again. Here, what happens in some time, in some regions, you have more number of rays crowded. In some places, the layers will be spread. Again crowded, again spread. Like this happens. Now, the region which is having high pressure, high density is called compression because they are compressed by the pressure. So this is called compression. The region which is having less pressure, less density is called rarefaction. Rarefaction. So, when the sound travels through the medium like gas or air, you have compressions. Immediately next to compression, you have rarefaction. Again compression, again rarefaction. So what happens here when the sound travels through the medium, it has alternative compression, rarefaction, compression, rarefaction. So in this way, the, the sound traveling in any type of gas, it produces compressions and rarefactions. So we can say that sound is a wave which consists of compressions and rarefactions. This is how we can represent. But I told you already, waves can also be represented in the form of sinusoidal. So if you want to show the compression rarefaction of sinusoidal form, see here, how do you show? Take y-axis, take x-axis. On the y-axis, take either pressure, P, or you can take density, rho, this is called rho symbol. P is pressure or density rho. On the x-axis, you can take distance, you can take distance, then what happens? At the compression point, this is the high pressure, say this is high pressure, this is low pressure, this is high, this is low. Then what happens? At the compression, you have high pressure. So, you start from less to maximum. See, this is high pressure. And rarefaction, you have less pressure. See, this is less pressure. Again, at compression, you have high pressure. Rarefaction, you have less pressure. So, this is compression, this is Rarefaction, compression, rarefaction. Understand? Observe carefully. So, the peak values are compressions because high pressures. The negative peak values, low pressures, means rarefactions. So, in this way, we can represent the sound propagation or sound traveling 
in terms of compression rate fractions or in terms of waves.